Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Camera Tuesday. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about black magic, design, pocket, cinema, camera, 6K. So let's dive right into it. So first you have to understand what it is. Basically, you can think of it as a bigger brother to black magic 4K. So what are you getting for this quote unquote big brother? Basically, you're getting 6K raw and you can go up to 60 frame per second, but you have to understand that at that point, it will crop top and bottom a little bit. So <clears throat> if you are okay with that kind of crop, awesome. It's a 60 frame per second camera, but if you want like full super 35 millimeters uh, uncropped uh, output, you, you can only go up to 50 frame per second. Now the sensor has been changed. It went from micro four third to super 35. So you can see micro four third to super 35. However, it does have more surface area and it's much more closer to cinema industry because you have to understand super 35 is quote unquote de facto cinema industry it is like uh, what you will find in red epic what you will find in re what you will find in basically uh, sony fs5 or things of that nature so it is a quite uh, stable known format for cinema industry not uh, it does not mean like cinema never uses something bigger than that if they are quote, quoting imax system they might use 65 millimeter so you, you get the idea like super 35 is much more closer to like what you can say hey this is a proper cinema camera so that's the major change now on top of that okay you change the sensor how the heck you gonna you know attach things to it uh, how the heck uh, you gonna mount lenses to it so they are moving to sony ef mount now which is an awkward decision i will explain it further but you have to get the idea so if you are thinking like okay i'm going from micro four third to quote unquote super 35 do not think that you're gonna get a like a dramatically larger you know uh, basically field of view or dramatically better low light performance because this should image should give you an idea because there's still smaller than a APS-C. basically if you bought let's say sony a6400 a6400 still has more surface area basically and it has more uh, depth of field and all that so uh, do not think like you're gonna i'm gonna get magically low light point because full frame it's huge full frame sensors are huge now, uh, because 6K is a, such an awkward uh, frame rate and format uh, that company does not support, uh, basically Apple does not support ProRes for it. So you have to get uh, basically black, uh, DaVinci Resolve. Without that, the footage ingestion will become very difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. And people are saying like right now, the codec is not uh, well supported with uh, Adobe Premiere system. So you have to wait. If you are like only relying on Premiere, you may have to wait for uh, like getting a stable codec and all that. It may be solved. It may be solved by the time you get it to like somebody much uh, might have patched it but be mindful of that 6k is only available in a b raw format basically black magic raw format and that format works well with davinci resolve and they are giving you full license so you don't have to worry too much about it but be aware of it be thoroughly aware of that that you do not have the luxury of prores so that's what it is basically taking the same body exactly the same body changing the sensor going to from micro four third to super 35 a little bit bigger and changing the lens mount from micro four third to full uh, basically canon ef system so then the question becomes because uh, the first thing that you're going to compare it to is like black magic pocket cinema camera 4k so what uh, what if like you just bought it recently because 4k just released was released quite early on but it was available in the beginning of 2019 and many people had issue with uh, like they ordered it but it did not came and it took time basically the, there was a lot of supply issue so uh, many of uh, people are saying like they just got their camera like hands-on camera experience just like you know few months ago so why the heck uh, basically black magic black magic released this new camera now you have to understand this is not a quote-unquote upgrade this i think this camera was also meant to be released side by side with that uh, 4k system however uh, because of the difficulty they had with their supply chain they pushed the launch because these two are literally copy paste from one one another so i'm pretty sure they were like yeah uh, we want to have 6k for some people who want to like uh, go more into vfx more into uh, you know basically vfx is the ma majority of the thing that will benefit um, or for common people will have uh, 4k system but because of supply chain and all that jazz it was pushed so then the question becomes okay let's say you haven't bought it and you're like hey should i buy 4k or should i buy 6k now you have to understand 6k will give you few core advantage like you can say okay because i have 6k because uh, that's why i have this the core advantage being stabilization basically if you are stabilizing in any software whatever it may be it generally crops in the uh, the more it crops in the better it gets however you are losing the resolution basically if you have 4k output and you're cropping and you are having like let's say 3.5k and you your uh, basically virtual frame is moving inside that now that uh, reduces sharpness a little bit not too much 
little bit but if you have 6k you have more than enough room to move around and still have 100% output like pixel per pixel matching basically one pixel one to one pixel matching for uh, 4k to 4k output because you have 6k so that is really you uh, you know <clears throat> helpful for people who do run and gun shooting or they do not have the gimbals and rigs that are needed for stabilization so that's a quite a useful scenario second is vfx now what do you mean by vfx basically does it does not mean like you know your vfx will go from okay uh, you know just some people making video to end game because you have to understand if you see any uh, what we call behind the scene bloopers and all that there is so much tracking done into basically all the big budget movie those tracking makes them like possible to use like alexa and all that and they don't have the magical camera which is like 16k and all that because they can track it now uh, when you are talking about low budget you don't have the luxury of like you know creating a whole town stage with a precisely controlled tracking system so in those sort of scenario having higher resolution helps this was the another reason why uh, red also pushes resolution so much so vfx shots become easier because you can zoom in and like okay this is the object this is the object border and you can uh, you know properly precisely isolate it so in those sort of scenario having a little bit more resolution is really helpful but this is twice as more expensive so uh, if you're going from let's say uh, 1400 to you're going to upwards of like 2500 and people are saying it could reach as high as 2700 if you have included VACT and all that so it is almost twice as more expensive now it's supposed to quote and quote it's supposed to be a bit better than uh, low light and you there are footage out there but you can only see it's like little bit better it's not too much like heck you can easily if you are uh, like you're skilled in the uh, davinci resolve you can easily make footage look uh, literally exactly the same so it's not like whoa like you're, you don't expect the sensor uh, size increase is not that much where like okay your pixel size went from you know uh, one micron to 10 micron you don't have that luxury so little bit better low light, little bit better field of view. Now this part is like uh, uh, the moment you open the Blackmagic page, you will see that's the first thing they are showing, you know, better depth of field. Now again, bit better because the sensor size is a little bit better. And most of the advantage you are getting is you will get, uh, you know, ability to use direct f1.8 uh, lenses like proper full frame f1.8 lenses even with the crop of uh, basically 1.5 is still better than micro many micro portrait system so to get quote and cut that uh, you know better field of view you have to utilize speed booster and full frame lens if you have speed booster plus full frame lens then this will have higher field of view so if you have already bought this very recently and you're like hey i rigged it up i have battery system and all that do not worry about 6k 6k is not uh, that better in terms of price to performance ratio so and don't be like okay i just got it should i sell it no no if you have 4k it's more than good enough and due to price to performance ratio you would have the luxury of like hey buying uh, you know extra uh, kjs extra battery battery is very important and other other than that like you can buy uh, basically ninja 5k uh, ninja 4k and all that so you have to understand this against 4k it really does not it's not like whoa too much better like again you, you may be like hey i already have a lot of canon lenses awesome i already uh, like you know uh, want a uh, lot of stabilization awesome i want uh, more resolution for vfx awesome anything other than that yeah you, you don't expect like oh i'm gonna get magically uh, ludicrously you know uh, shallower depth of field you're not gonna get it and you can bypass that uh, in your micro four third issue simply by putting a full frame lens with a speed booster i have provided the video down below where you can actually see so question becomes should you buy it well uh, simple answer no why? Because it's too expensive. Because whenever people were comparing uh, Blackmagic uh, 4K, the original one, even though it was not a quote-unquote full full ready, because many things were limiting, like video cameras supposed to have flip-out screens. You have to have it. Like that's why almost all uh, um, cinema, uh, cinema I'm saying, even Blackmagic's own system have a flip-out screen. Even with Sony FS system have a flip-out screen. It is something that you must have for a cinema system. Because you will not always have the luxury. If your camera is down on the ground, how the heck you gonna see it? And Blackmagic did not change that. So okay that was acceptable if your budget was uh, you know very tight and you can only buy something that is as cheap as $1400 so at that price point it was a killer system because that's the first thing I can say to any film studio student who's like hey do you really want to understand how cinematography is done buy this camera actually experience uh, what is the raw pipeline learn it figure it out that's awesome and you will get a full software license which is ultra awesome so in those sort of scenario priceless here it's not so much simply because it's a weird hybrid now that weird hybrid okay 4k is also a weird hybrid because it looks like a you know 
um, hybrid camera basically your photo camera but it's not a photo camera you can't capture good quality photo with this i'm like okay quality but not too good and uh, autofocus god help you with that so it's a very weird system that's not an issue because there was nothing comparing at it uh, like you know competing at it at that low of a price here there are so many things competing at it because you have to understand right now you can buy sony system nikon system canon system and they all will outperform this simply because they at that price range they can give you full frame the issues of 30 minute recording limit that has also been solved with many systems and all that so at this point in time if you are spending like let's say two thousand dollar plus you can buy let's say uh, nikon and buy ninja v5 and uh, uh, and get the 10 bit output you can have sony ninja 5 output and you will have proper high quality image output so in this sort of scenario these tool sets are much more versatile it's something like you take it out shoot done go home and heck both of them have better battery life like literally they have better battery life that is the one thing like that is why i think like most of the cameras are supposed to be released at the same time due to their supply chain issue they are like yeah let's release one by one because it's not an upgrade it's just like okay we have one option with this sensor and this uh, lens mount we have another sensor with this lens and this mount so at this point is point as in like above 2000 i can easily say hey just buy a sony system or hey buy a nikon system if you want that uh, raw footage that badly you can get 10 bit output from nikon you cannot get 10 bit output from sony you can do that with canon some models so you have those uh, advantages flat out these camera setup will flat out kick butt of uh, basically black magic system because autofocus because image stabilization because full frame sensor because these have much better low light performance that you cannot even like you cannot even begin to imagine the low light performance the difference between these two is upwards of 1.7x so that is why like at this price point at $1300 there is nothing like you can't even think about it. GS uh, like Panasonic GS5 is also more expensive than that but at $2300 yeah you can get a lot of things so that is why like in terms of versatility basically from YouTube to uh, lightweight uh, movie shootings and all that and flat out it's not something that I can tangibly recommend now lens mount option was also awkward for many people many people like why the heck you are giving a lens mount which is full frame and dslr system because that means they cannot put adapter even though your sensor is so small and you have the luxury of putting a speed booster you cannot physically put it so uh, there are people who are like uh, building a lens mount right now that will go inside the sense uh, basically camera body itself so you can have that uh, ability to use full frame canon full frame lenses on a crop system again extra steps that should not have been there that should not have been because they know like people use speed boosters and speed boosters are becoming quite uh, successful and you can get quite high quality speed booster for 400 dollars so people are using that it's just like they made it so difficult so much difficult because lens mount is like the flange distance is so huge it's quite awkward like this whole camera is very weird hybrid the cost is no longer like competitive because if you just want something hey I just want to say I'm a simple guy I want to do simple things and I want a simple video camera both of these will outperform anything out there black magic uh, black magic wise now again black magic 4k will beat it out because a the price range is so low that you can afford to buy like let's say if you want a uh, luxury of like having a monitor wherever you want to you can buy a, like ninja V or you can buy a like you know extra battery setup because the battery life is only 40 minutes this puppy can go up to two hours of continuous recording two hours of continuous recording so all these things considered because of the price because of the uh, like you know the awkward nature of it because of the awkward uh, lens mount it's not something that is very easy to recommend 4k quite good for starter camera quite good for somebody who's like trying to learn what the hell people say uh, people mean when they talk about color correction because there is no way of uh, somebody showing it to you on youtube you have to see with your own eyes otherwise you will not understand it like somebody says oh skin tone what does that mean like what does that mean because you haven't seen the person uh, in uh, like you know face to face you do not know there is is their skin supposed to be red or is there supposed to be orange unless you see it by yourself so for those sort of people who are students who are becoming hey let's figure it out let's figure it out how color correction works. that is an awesome tool not only you are getting an awesome camera not only you're getting a camera that can do proper raw not only you're getting a full fledged software license you also have the luxury of putting whatever lens you want you can put canon lens you can put sony lens you can put whatever you want here it's not so uh, like you know cut and dry here this is very awkward now again if you're like hey i need to have 6k for some reason okay buy it again your money your decision and you're like hey i'm gonna use vfx i use vfx a lot 4k is not enough for me again what are you doing but again i can understand that but do understand this is not as uh, of a killer camera as 4k was 4k was like 
okay for student this is the best thing like this is what this is what they supposed to buy like you know okay i'm completing i'm like about to complete my whole uh, cinema graduation this is the first camera i'm going to buy it was like that this eh, not so much so this was my presentation on black magic pocket cinema 6k i hope you liked it learn from it in that case please click the like button if you didn't like it didn't enjoy it i would urge you to press dislike press it twice to show me your extra disappointment and please leave a comment because i reply to all of them subscribe press the bell icon if you're free and as always thanks for watching